Uh, John Kim was asking, how long does the Aldolo Express run without internet uh, if it does? So if you do not have internet, um, it will run for seven days without any problems. At the end of seven days, uh, the software will continue to run, but it's going to mark a lot of the uh, orders old and it's going to deprioritize their upload. So it will still upload them, it just makes it to where it'll get the newest stuff first and work backwards. Um, and then John was asking, do we have the ability to have a wait list and reservation feature in Aldola, uh, like you have in Aldola Pro? Absolutely, that feature is there, it's actually really cool. Um, and then it says, uh, after uh, we download the app, uh, can we use the demo to add or make changes, etc. test it out? Uh, the demo database that's there, um, does not allow you to, to make or edit changes. It's a demo database. Um, but if somebody really wanted to copy over a database or something that's already there, uh, we can copy them for you. We do it all the time. Um, it's a couple of buttons. Um, but any live database you can create, you can make any changes you want. So it's easy. Uh, what is the max order types you can create in Aldelo Express? Uh, out of the box, it comes with dine-in, takeout, delivery, drive-through, that's them. That's it, makes it easy. Um, you can rename them, by the way. So, yep. Jeff, would you explain how to move someone from Adelo POS to Adelo Express? Oh, God. Uh, you guys are going to love this. Um, if you have not seen it already, I have a video on our, our RP page where I do the entire setup, pulling everything from the demo database uh, in less than a minute. And it literally is download the download tool, um, click the only button that's on it, choose where you want the file output to go to, and it will output a file for you. You take that file and you log into the cloud and you create, you hit stores and you create new store. And it'll ask you when you hit create new store, is this going to be a new store? Or do you want to upload from a little Dello POS store? You choose a little Dello POS and you upload that file. It takes about another 10 or 15 seconds to finish the upload and you're done. Um, and it doesn't matter how big your database is, it's only pulling up the basic setup data. So it's getting your menu items, your employees, uh, your taxes information, some of your settings information, that kind of stuff, and you're done. Um, so piece of cake. Are we finding people who want to choose Adelo Express over Adelo Pro? In fact, they're willing to migrate straight over to Adelo Express and give up Adelo Pro. Yeah, I'm actually finding that happens, uh, especially for people that are, have older hardware. They're really wanting to do it, and going to an iPad solution is much, much cheaper than buying an all-in-one terminal. And a lot of times they can expand to two or three or four stations uh, for the same price of having one uh, Windows-based terminal. So they're really looking at doing that, and it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, John Kim was saying, can I extend a demo? after a month um we own the technology we can do anything we want um could i extend it for longer than a month sure um if there's a business reason to go do that sure we can do it um no big deal uh what kind of Rick, piggybacking on what jeff said about it's not it is a low cost upgrade the software is free so it'll be a free upgrade they toss the xp hardware they get an ipad if you'll watch my, my video window, this is an iPad Pro, but I've got the Mac Daddy, so I have all the memory and all the RAM, but these go for like $900, and this is the best iPad that they make. Then I've got this stand, you see here from Logitech, that's it. It's got the three buttons, the three connectors here at the bottom. It's got a connector in the back for you to plug in the charger and you just literally set it right there it's that easy that stand is like a hundred bucks then you plug in your your ipad charger to the back of it and you're good to go 
when you get ready at the end of the night, you don't want your iPad sticking out there, just take it off. That's all uh, there is. Yeah. Uh, Scott's got kind of a question along the same lines of what we've asked. And Scott, I hope I do not offend you personally, and I hope I do not offend anybody on the phone call. I'm going to say something very uh, frankly. <laughs> And so I want you, you guys to understand I mean no malice, <laughs> but I'm going to say this really, really simply. Why would you want to integrate a Windows component with an Apple component and try to mix any number of Windows operating systems and introduce all those headaches and problems when you don't need to? Your customer simply migrates to the Aldello uh, Express, and if they want terminals, they put in like Jerry has an iPad Pro with a stand, and they're out out of pocket probably about 400 bucks. Um, if they want, like I've got an iPad Mini, uh, those are what 289 now. Um, if you want an iPad uh, Air, they're you know under 400 bucks. Uh, stands about 100 bucks, um, and they have a terminal for you know, pretty good price, a nine or 10 inch terminal. If they really like the iPad Pro with all the, the bells and whistles, that's a thousand bucks. It's still cheaper than a Windows-based terminal. Um, and then they can connect all the iPads they want because with Aldello Express, they get unlimited number of stations from us. So they all they need to do is provide the iPads and they can have all they want. Um, but why try to integrate two things that speak different languages and try to get them to sync data. It just, yeah. <laughs> nope, we don't do it. We, we've now, with the with the Pro, we now have a terminal. It's a, This Pro is a 12.9 inch. People still use 12 inch screens. Yeah, Rick we just now chimed have something in. something that's usable. Rick just chimed in and says, uh, and thank you very much, Rick. Says, hey, he bought a 9.7 for $300 with tax at Best Buy. Um, mm -hmm. I think I know what my son's getting uh, next week. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so piece of cake there. Um, I've gotten a couple of questions about inventory and countdown inventory is already available. It's actually really cool. It's the same type of countdown you've done in Zara or Aldello POS, uh, where it actually puts the, the uh, remaining amounts of stuff right onto the items. They can see in real time what is the, the depletion and things like this. Uh, it's actually really cool. Um, as far as serialized inventory um, where, for retail, uh, where you can put in a serial number and, and track that through to the its sale point, um, that we have some reports and stuff we need to finish up before we release that publicly, but it is coming soon. Um, so really easy there. Uh, Dan, I love your question. I couldn't ask to be set up better. He asks me, um, are we purchasing EMV readers from Aldello? I highly recommend that they purchase the EMV re readers from us. We are uh, trying to get those out there at our cost or, or really close to it. Um, the S300s are $225 right now. Everybody tells me the same. I can find it for you know, 170 or 180 at POS Portal. That is true before you inject them and you ship them. Um, and once you do those two things, it comes up to about $200. We've had to pay for shipping to come to us, and then we ship them to the customer, which is where that 225 comes in. We actually take every time we deploy a, a customer or we set up a customer, we test the devices in our offices and then ship them out. Um, that way, you know what you're getting it is already pre-configured, ready to go. Boom, you just plug it in. It makes it so much easier to do your deployments instead of fiddling around with it because I can tell you right now one of the biggest problems we have in tech support it's actually the longest calls we've had uh, all last year our customers who buy it from and you fill in your favorite eBay Craigslist uh, you know POS portal uh, but from a variety of different places and they didn't get it key injected they got it key injected with the wrong key it has the wrong information it's not set up properly and we have no way of diagnosing those. Um, if we set it up, you know it's going to work. So we do that. Uh, but, and I think Dan's um, uh, probably going to have this question next, so I'm going to get ahead of him here. Uh, if you're ordering enough of them, 
can you stockpile them? Sure. Have a great time. If they, you find a place where you, you know, really want to do this, I suggest your first couple of customers we do together. Uh, you order the devices and everything from us. Let's make sure you understand how everything's deployed, that it's all, you know, pretty happy. And then if you want to order the devices on your own, you're welcome to do that. You know, once you kind of have a, a certain level of experience with us, uh, that way you can literally give us the serial number, tell us what it is, we'll put it into the cloud for you and uh, send it out, you know, pre-program it and everything for you. And when your merchant account is done, you can go to the customer the same day with the actual devices in hand. Um, but I do actually recommend just order them from us. You're not really gonna find you save much money, maybe five or $10 at best trying to go get them on your own, uh, unless you're capable of ordering, you know, thousands of them at a time. Um, the uh, PAX D210 is Wi-Fi. Um, we're not using the Bluetooth at the moment. Um, we, uh, the Wi-Fi is just a, a lot better connection right now for those. Should we promote Adelo Express primarily for restaurants and secondly for salon and retail? We, we feel it's equal. Uh, we, we feel that you have the equal opportunity to do retail and restaurant salons. Yeah, we do have that, that built-in capability because we do have the table seating. So you can use instead of the table, be a chair or that for that salon stylist. So you do have some pretty good options there with the reservations. You do take the reservation for the person. You can take the reservation for that particular seat. So you have the ability to do a pretty good salon program. And of course, they're scanning for their retail items. So yes, salons do work fine. In fact, I built a salon database that shows just that. It took me about a half an hour, but you could do the same. This, what you're seeing on the screen, this is the demo database that comes with the system. So it's, a little, it's gonna operate just a slight different from what you saw. His, this, this is the number of guests. It defaulted to one, and here are the two tables that we have. And now you can ring up items. So this is your demo database. Everything else will work just the same. So here's the pizza. You want a medium, thin, and then with sauce half shrimp, half beef. There you go. Real simple, real easy to do. And there I'm out. And Larry was looking to see if we could explore the matrix feature there um, on the left-hand side. And Larry, you'll come like this. Yeah, Jerry's an expert in this. Um, <laughs> so it really is just like the matrix that's in um, Zara are very similar to it. Um, yep. You literally give things a name, uh, a product category and a, a reporting category, and you create a base item. And then once you do that, you can create thousands of items very, very quickly um, that use that base item. Um, it's actually a really cool concept. Um, yeah, see, Jerry's creating one now. So, as you see, boom, he created the, the base item there, and now it's just a matter of, okay, what are the common names that he wants to put in there, and you can just do, you know, uh, you'll see there's four columns on the bottom of the screen there. And so whatever we want to call the the item common name, whatever the default price is. So there it is. And then at the bottom, it literally is, what are you going to have? What kind of things when you do a... a matrix you know what are you going to need our classic one that we always showed was shirts um you know you can have a t-shirt you need to decide what kind of sleeves and what kind of neckline and what kind of mm -hmm. everything that it's going to have um, 
and it would literally build every single combination. And here, if you were going to do um, like sub sandwiches or something, is a good example of what Jerry's doing. You might end up with uh, putting in the types of of meats and stuff you're doing in column one, types of of other toppings and stuff, and it would just build every single combination. Um, pizzas are one way you'd use this quite a bit. You'd end up making, let's say, all your pizza toppings and stuff in here very, very quickly, because instead of having to go in and type all the the category information, the price information, the whole thing for every little item, you'd literally make one column of just, let's say, all the toppings, and it would build all the possible combinations for you. Mm -hmm. um, especially as far as half and full sizes, if you needed to do that and get more complex. So it really does allow that complexity that we had in Zara um, and that quickness from Zara here into the, the Aldelo Express. I'm not going to go too much further, but yeah. I hope they can get an idea. Yeah, hit, hit preview matrix and then build. It's ready to rock and roll. So it's going to build all those items for him, you know, and he's got them now very quickly. So it's under it's, six it's, inch, under six inch sub. That's it. Then you can uh, choose the sandwich picture or color button. But that's how you make all those items. <laughs>